All right, so we're out, out with Fatal Force Fishing, in case you guys haven't figured it out yet. We're going to slam some whitefish, I'm quite sure of it. Let's do it. That's <laughs> the most meegs I've ever seen. So for whitefish, you're exclusively using meegs. Meigs and the halo, which is another bait we'll probably get on today. Okay. Um, see how it goes. Prefer to do the meigs. It's just, uh, I mean, it's a little harder to get the hang of than the halo. Yeah. But. Uh, well, I've been having a problem with the meigs, so. We'll show <laughs> the halo is harder. Show you that one first. No, the halo is easier. Okay. Than the meigs. Um, halo is almost like a a backup plan. Okay. That'll save us, but we use it more for like kids and stuff that <laughs> can't figure it out. <laughs> That's me. So if he puts me on the halo today, you know why. <laughs> well, we'll read the fish too. If the fish are coming up and don't really want to eat off bottom and stuff, we'll get the halo going. But All right. burn the end so it doesn't slide through. We're going to take the knot. And rather, when it's sitting on top like that, like yeah. you get a little bit to work. You slide that knot right to the back. All of a sudden, it's like way more vertical, and you can get uh, a lot more out of it. So, get more in your hole here. So the graph, obviously, I've got the full screen on the right and a zoom on the left. Okay. So we've got it right down to bottom. Okay. What you're gonna want to do. Um, Find where your bottom is and where you're comfortable working it. Okay. Like so how I feel it, bottom? Exactly. Okay. So you know, like I'm slack line here. Yeah. There's some weight. I know I'm on bottom. Okay. So now I'm not going to touch the reel, okay. like until it's time to reel in a fish. Okay. Literally, we're going to like lift it up and wave it. Those bubbles will go away. We're just going to wave it a couple feet off bottom and wait for a fish to show up. When a fish shows up, think of it like... Go be swimming along here, minding his own business. All of a sudden, whitefish shows up. Okay. Gobi's like, oh crap, down to bottom. He's going to try and burrow himself into the mud. Okay. So that's what we're doing. As soon uh, as the fish shows up, right down to bottom, like on a slack line, don't just lower it slowly. Okay. Like you're already up here. You already know where your bottom is on the rod. Right. Drop it down. You know you're on bottom. And then we're going to just kind of rock it like this. Um, this will be the part that kind of takes the most time yeah. for you to figure out is the, the rocking motion. And right. I'll, I'll walk you through it kind of as And are know. you lifting up the bait at all or you're yes just lifting and, up the end? Yes and no. You're trying to just lift the tail, but you do want to feel a little bit of separation. Okay. You are only lifting the tail, but it feels like you're lifting the nose. I'll be okay. able to watch your rod tip and kind of tell you okay. what you're doing. Okay. But it's if you kind of watch the tip now, like it's yeah, very, very like gentle, just barely, but barely moving. very, very steady. You don't want to stop it or, or lift it. Okay. Um, just go very, very steady. As soon as the fish like disappears, if it does, uh -huh. back up okay. quickly. And then oftentimes that'll kind of pique their interest again. They'll come back up and then boom, you're you're right back down to bottom doing it again. Now, when you say disappears, that's when it screws off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when it disappears on the screen. Gotcha. Um, that's something, again, I can kind of walk you through as we go. Okay. Um, the bite if you feel anything different, I can't stress that enough. Okay. Anything different, set the hook. Because most of the time, it's going to feel like somebody cut your line. Like you just, you like lost. Nothing. Yeah. When you're working on a body, you're constantly feeling the weight, right? You know right. where you are. Right. Because um, they suck it up off bottom. Okay. It just takes the weight away, right? Rather than a thump that you're used to. Right. You feel slack. Okay. If you feel any slack at all, set the hook. Sometimes they'll, they'll thump it too, but okay. most of the time it's just that gentle slack. Um, when you're holding the rod this is like a pretty important one too okay. most people are going to hold it like this right because the, the the bite is so light when you hold it like this with a flat palm i just use my thumb as kind of leverage okay on here and hold it flat palm somebody hands you a quarter and a nickel your eyes are closed it says which one's heavier it's like you're gonna hold it like this right right you're not gonna hold it like this it wouldn't make sense right like right you're gonna hold it like this because that's how you can kind of differentiate those smaller weights okay so holding it like this I, you're gonna feel so much more okay 
And when it comes to working it, like rather than getting your whole arm into it, that's how you're gonna overwork it. Okay. Again, I'm using my thumb as leverage and just kind of using my middle finger. Just wrist and, kind and of wrist to yeah. just kind of pop it like that. Okay. So yeah. And do you think the action of the rod matters when you're doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like so, you need a light tip. Yes. So I've used a bunch. Well, I, ultimately, I think it comes down to personal preference, like what you're comfortable with. Okay. But for me, and it's probably because it's why I learned the MIGs on, um, I've tried, like, all my other gear at home, I've tried doing it. Longer rods, I'm missing fish, like, on the hook sets. I think it just, it absorbs too much, and you don't feel a bite in time. Okay. The shorter rod, you get a little bit more, you feel it quicker, and then you get more leverage in the hook set, too. Gotcha. What are we using? We're using my 30 That's inch. 30 inch medium, medium heavy. heavy. And then for the quarter ounce, I've got 28 medium light. Yeah. Oh, all, all the way down 28 medium, light. sorry. Okay. Um, That's just to compensate for the smaller bait. Exactly. But in this way, I can drop down to four pound line as well. Oh, really? So yeah, what do you run so in that medium heavy? That's an eight pound braid to six pound floral. Oh, wow. Uh, this is eight pound to four pound floral. Wow. Pretty light, but that is light. Drags are loose and drags are strong enough. You're gonna put a hook into them, but you're not. You hook a laker, and it takes you for a run. You're, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if Jason sucks so bad. Give him the deal. <laughs> <laughs> No, the Halo's easier okay. than the Meigs. Um, Halo's almost like a a backup plan. Okay. That'll save us, but we use it more for like kids and stuff. That Came over and dropped his meeks down and got a fish. Shut up, for real? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 <Guy. laughs> see, I don't even see. see that. I don't even see that. I just see him bouncing, then all of a sudden he loads up. <laughs> Doesn't take much, right? No. Anything different. So anything different. I can count five bites that you've had, and I That's think... That's six. What's that? That's number six. Jeez. At least somebody's catching fish. You'll get them. Oh, yeah. Tom lets you. <laughs> <laughs> They're not shooting up, I'll, I'll smack them. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> hey, <Ray. laughs> yeah, feel down. Just lift up. There you go. Which head is just gonna pop up. He's not going anywhere, he's pinned good. Like when they hit that thing, they're they pinned real good. Oh, is that your first white? That is my first whitey ever. In the halo. In the halo. Oh. Dude. Dude. 
first whitey ever. That's an amazing fish. <laughs> Slime in my eye. <laughs> Dinner? <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to keep him. I'm good. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Dude, man, thank you so much. First whitey ever. And I don't want to hoot and holler too loud. <laughs> I'm trying real hard. Yes. Awesome. First of many. Dude. Dude, that felt so good. Yeah, I'm out of here. I got done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that felt good. Oh Steve, I'm so happy. It's good whitey too. Oh. Is it a lift or a thump around? It like? was just nothing. Yep. There was like Perfect. nothing there. Perfect. Come here, big guy. Hey. Best part about the meeks, they're pre-gapped. Oh man. <laughs> That's a nice white fish. See if I can get it without getting. Oh man, this is my first white fish on the Meigs. Thank you, Steve, man. Man, that's awesome. Send this guy back down. Oh man, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Dude, that Meigs bite. Yes. It's like I told you, once you felt it, Oh, now, like now there was you, no. Now you know what you're no feeling for. There was no second guessing. Now you know what you're feeling for, and you'll be gold. All right, let's stack them. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> feels amazing on the Meigs. I don't even know how to explain it. Like I've fished a lot of baits, and this just—it feels so good. Really interesting bite. I'm watching those bogies. <laughs> that one's definitely the biggest of the three. Oh, the belly. Oh, man. Oh, biggest for sure. Oh, man, and they are a good looking fish, too. Oh man, I love fishing whitefish. <laughs> oh yeah. There's another one down there. Get him. Lift up so you can see me. Go lift up a there's another one. Lift up a bubble. See if he comes. Now drop. Double up. Oh, oh I missed him. Oh, I missed yeah, him. He's still there. He's still there. I didn't want to pull this fish out yet. Come on, baby. He's still there, dude. I know, right? 